Meantime, nearly a half a billion animals have been killed in those fires. And hundreds of millions more are injured, according to ecologists from the University of Sydney. From more than 10,000 miles away, a woman is now leading an effort to help those birds, kangaroos and koalas the best way she knows how. The images from Australia are heartbreaking. It's, it's just devastating. Animals injured in wildfires like koalas, kangaroos and birds overwhelming rehab centers across the country. I've grown up loving animals all my life. The Animal Rescue Collective Craft Guild putting out a call for action on social media. So this is a double strand and it needs to be. And it has people ways, everywhere so knitting, crocheting and sewing. And then these will stay as like their main nest or their home. Including here in Maine. I really love that I'm able to do to help with something that I love to do. The pin is telling me where the starting of the row is. Danielle Letourneau so is I'm one. This animal group is asking for physical goods, so it's like that's something I can do and you know I may not have a lot of funds, but I can do this. I have so much yarn. <laughs> a lot of it is what you learned first. With um, yarn she already had at home, it. she's knitting tiny nests for injured birds and other small animals. And pouches for young Joey kangaroos that have lost their moms. And I was just so blown away and humbled by how many people wanted to help. If Thanks to there, the generosity of strangers through day. Facebook, she doesn't have to worry about paying for shipping just yet. And many more crafters are sending her their creations to send along to Australia too. That's the smallest size right there. Tiny supplies thanks to big hearts thousands of miles away. Meanwhile, the Salvation Army World Service Organization has set up a donation link if anyone here in America wants to contribute to the Australian wildfire relief efforts. We have information on how you can do just that at our website and mobile app.